the protests. Protests in Hong Kong began last summer when the chief executive, Carrie Lam, proposed legislation that would have allowed extraditions from Hong Kong to mainland China. By mid-June, some two million people, this is a staggering thing, more than a quarter of the entire population of right. Hong Kong had taken to the streets. Now, the legislation seemed reasonable. There was a young man who committed or was accused of committing a murder in Taiwan who fled to Hong Kong. There was no way to deal with him. And so the chief executive of Hong Kong, Carrie Lam, said we simply need to be able to extradite criminals to the mainland right. in order to prosecute justice. Well, before the extradition bill, China has been encroaching on our freedom by DQing, disqualifying some of the people, you know, for election for the legislative council, and they, you know, they allow, they, they arrest some of the young, the young people, you know, as a political prisoners. So, and many many of things they have done has shown that China wanted to take away our freedom, and when they actually imposed or tried to impose the extradition bill, we, we all knew that that is the, the fight of last straw. We have to fight. Otherwise, we will lose everything. If we lose freedom, we will lose everything. And that's why the first time the younger generation who has been complaining of our, we old generation, we have been fighting for freedom for 30 years, they ask, what have you, what have you, what have you done? What have we got? We got, you got nothing. So how about now? We, we try our way. And that's why they try out their way confronting the police and we see some of the violence. Um, but even that, the younger generation and the older generation have never been so united in fighting for our home, Hong Kong. As now. A, 